The Free National Movement taken issue with remarks made by two cabinet ministers with regards to the whole Nygaard and Bacon saga and the emails released in Parliament. The FNM feels statements by the two ministers can have chilling effects on the investment climate and the financial services industry. While responding to this today was the financial services minister who set the record straight. Clint Watson has that story. Free National Movement Deputy Leader Peter Twinkwa says anyone who has been engaged in financial services at any level understands the sensitive nature of that business and the need for complete confidence in the professionals engaged and the jurisdiction to protect their confidentiality and the privacy of clients. He says the unwise statements by the Minister of Education, Science and Technology and the Minister of Foreign Affairs is particularly inappropriate and harmful to our jurisdiction, its international financial services reputation and freedoms. But Financial Services Minister Hope Strawn disagrees. I'm not sure that there has been a breach of confidentiality, so to speak. We do not know the facts surrounding how the emails came to be in the possession of, of, of the minister. I'm not defending it one way or the other, but unless and until we know those facts, I fail to see how we could say that it, uh, it will affect the sector unless we know that there was some breach of confidentiality. Minister Strawn says to date there has been no concern reported to her related to this issue from professionals in the sector regarding breach of confidentiality. She believes the opposition wants to see the sector suffer. It's almost as if they desire some negative result for the Bahamas by what they say and by what is printed on a day-to-day -day basis. And so it makes that job that much challenging for us to go out into the international community because we then have to defend against these things that are said and things that are said sometimes without any basic basis in fact. The factual circumstances that exist today is that nobody knows other than those persons who had those emails, how they came by them. And it may have been come by just by someone simply copying it and giving it to them. The minister maintains that the sector is well-regulated, compliant, and respected internationally. We have implemented FATCA for exchange of information with the United States, the IRS. We have co uh, committed ourselves to an automatic exchange of information and the common reporting standard, which is uh, scheduled for 2018, and the work is ongoing in that respect. Um, I believe that internationally we are known to be a premier financial center. Um, we, um, to date, have not found that we have been in, in any way affected by what is happening here on the ground in the Bahamas. Minister Strawn further states that she will not be distracted from her ministry's mandate of promoting the sector internationally. Investors um, in this country can feel confident that we are safeguarding their information. They can feel confident that we are going to do everything in our power to protect their confidentiality. And those who choose on a day-to-day -day basis to spread negative information about this jurisdiction for whatever their personal reasons may be, that's on them. I'm going to do my job. Clint Watson, ZNS Network News.